Hey guys, this is Editing Timeless here, and I just wanted to tell you guys that like my, the video is kind of scuffed. Like my webcam, there's like a, a webcam underneath the webcam, and there's also like you can see my Google Home. I like I put my phone on to like prop it up for the hand cam, and also like um for some reason my mic was like really quiet. So like I turned it up in post, but like I still think it's gonna be like a little too quiet. So sorry about that, but like next time I'll do a little bit better. So with that, I'll see you guys in the video. Hey guys, if time is here, we're back to another video. Today, we're going to be using this $20 gaming mouse I found on Amazon and seeing how good it is for Minecraft. As you can see in the webcam, it's, this mouse is actually $20. It comes with these like three side buttons and it comes with a flat side panel on the side. And you also get two on the top. It's also RGB on the bottom here, one second. There you go, it's RGB on the bottom. So yeah, we're going to basically be seeing how good this mouse is for Minecraft. Let's see if you can jitter click, butterfly click, and normal click. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. If you guys are wondering what model this is, this is the Have it MS760. Um, I believe I got it back in April. So yeah, it's, I had this mouse for quite some time. It's like more of like a long-term review. I'll tell you guys how it is. Let's, let's go straight to mid. Oh, almost fell there. All right. But yeah, basically, I've had this mouse for like a very long time. I just want to tell you, very long, very long, very long. Like how it is. So for those of you that are like looking for a cheap mouse, I think this is one of like the best. Okay. No. Is there a guy up there? Where's my arrows at? What? What? There we go. I got some arrows. Can I shoot him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not shooting him. You, sir, are kind of dead. But I think those two are the last players. Yeah, they are. So I'm just gonna... Come on, I can get the shot. Why is my aim so bad today? Okay. That was quite a violent reaction, if I do see some myself. There he is. You are dead. Oh, this guy's gonna combo my skeleton. Nice work, skeleton. I like that. I like that. Anyways, GG's. On to the next game. How are you guys liking the webcam I have right now? Because it's like I'm using my phone as my webcam. I'm wondering how it'll be. Yeah, just let me know down in the comments. I realize I should probably be talking about the mouse because I don't want this like, video to be 20 minutes long. Oh. Excuse me. What? Okay. Alright. He is dead. I want to explain. Okay. Yeah, you're. You're dead. You can't. You can't do that. That's illegal. I, I'm about to get combo by this guy. Okay. Got that guy too. Nice work. So about the mouse, um, it actually comes with removable side panels, which is really good for $20. It comes with three removable side panels, I believe. Three? Yeah, um, no, sorry, two. It come, actually, no, it comes with one on one side, like one on the left side and one on the right side. Um, I'll show you guys it right after this game when I lose, inevitably. Okay, this guy has no chill. He, of course, wants to give it a full kill. I wonder where he's going to. Uh, I think he's. I don't know what he's doing actually. Okay, come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, I don't want to lose this game. No! No! Bro, I dropped my sword. No! Why would I do that? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyways, use this guy on the next game. Oh yeah, before we start the next game, I said I was gonna show the side panels. So you see this side panel right here, you can actually just pry it off like this. Um, here's the side panel, like it comes with three buttons. And then the second one that it comes with is actually this one. It has nine side buttons. So look, you can get like nine side buttons on your mouse, which is really cool. But I, I personally prefer the three one because I don't really use that much um, side buttons. 
and then on the other side the right side you get this flat one um whoops i accidentally clicked something on minecraft but yeah you get this flat side panel so if i just remove it real quick so as you can see it's like flat and then it comes with this type of curved side panel so i put this one on so they're all magnetic and everything too so you got, it comes with a little curve so you can like rest your pinky and stuff which I think is really cool for tw like tw again 20 US dollars that is really good but yeah personally I like the flat side panel and like the low profile aesthetic um I checked the weights on this and to in total this is supposed to be a 125 grams with these two side panels and with the heavier ones with these two, um, two side panels it's supposed to be about 135 so this is not a light mouse at all but like it's still a really good mouse for what it is so in terms of the sensor that the mouse comes with, it's kind of like questionable. Like I'm not 100% sure what the sensor is on this mouse. Um, simply, it's not because um the mouse has like um, one of those like no-name sensors. It actually, it's a pretty good sensor in the side. But the problem is that um like have it just makes it so hard to tell with the off. No, go away. Please go away. I, I don't actually have no armor. I don't want to fight that guy. But yeah, this have it doesn't like tell us what the sensor is. Like on the packaging, on the box itself, it says um, it says it's a P PMW 30 through 25 sensor, which is the like, which is good, but it's not as good as like something like the 27. But then um, like when you try to go getting the software, when you try installing the software, that guy's dead. Oh, that was a nice block glitch. Got him. But yeah, on the software itself, it actually says it's um a PM between 20, 20, 20, no, 3327, which is the better of the two. Okay, I need a, I need a dip. Why? Why does this guy hate me so much? All right, leave me alone. Are you happy now? You care to fight me? And the last guy was over here. Actually, I'm not really sure. Um, oh, he's right there. I'm coming over. No. Exactly. And GG is on to the next game. Um, what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, sensors. Uh, basically, um, I'm not really sure if it's PNV 3325 sensor or 3327 sensor. They're both good in their respective rights, but the 27 is like a bit better. Either way, this mouse has a pretty good sensor, and it doesn't have that annoying like red glow you see in like other like cheap mice, which I like a lot. Let's actually get two mid. People leave me alone. Okay. What the skeleton? No the skeleton. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Talking about the size of the mouse, it's kind of like medium sized, if I do see. Actually, no. Scratch that. It's um, from what like the other reviews I've seen, people say it's like a pretty large mouse, which means I got pretty large hands because my my hands are like perfectly matches mouse. Like it's really comfortable for me. If you have smaller hands, I think you should check out some other mice. Oh, oh, lucky guy. Oh, not, I'm not. Lucky. Okay, wait, how did this guy get here? What? Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna watch this guy because he's gonna come over to me. Oh, come on, can I get him? Got him. That was a good player, GG to him because he's actually good at the game. If they had more armor, they could have probably killed me. Who am I getting shot by? Leave me alone. So yeah, for me, like it's really comfortable. Again, if you guys are using smaller hands, I recommend some looking at something else because this is a... Okay, oh god. Oh god. Show kindness in the chat. If someone says good luck, have fun, you say you too. Unless they're above 15 stars, then you say nothing because they're going to destroy you. I got this mouse around like April because I need a new mouse. My old mouse was trying, like starting to break up. So this is what I got and so far I like really liked it. However, I remember on the first day when I got this mouse, I actually hated it a lot. Oh, can you just... No, 
no. Bro, that was so sick. I got like four kill, three kills. That was actually really nice. Ah, whatever. My biggest problem with this mouse isn't actually the mouse itself. It's actually the software. The software that comes with this mouse is absolutely garbage. And even then, it's not the software. It's actually the way you download the software. Because the software itself, like, it has some good customizability. It's like your average software. It's nothing crazy. But then, like, installing the software is, like, so hard to do. Basically, you have to download, like, this um, update tool. You have to download this, like, converter tool. Um, they all they supply on their website, but, like, they don't give you any order on how to install it. So you have no idea. And then you also have to install the actual driver itself. And then you have to, um, like, um, I had to ask for help because I had no idea how to get this, like, driver installed. So that's this YouTuber called What, like, What Now? Yeah, um, I'll link him in the description, actually. No! Oh, okay. Thank you for venting me. Thank you so much. Um, I already said it before, but I'll link what now in the, in the description. So if you guys want to check him out, I really recommend you do. He has about 200 subs, and they like they do uh, a bunch of tech reviews and stuff. And it's like content is really good, so I re do recommend checking him out. But yeah, basically, um, what they did was they actually went into like the driver itself, and they changed um, one of the sensor parts. So like in like in the driver, it said that my sensor was the um, 3 to 25. If you change it to 3 to 3327, I can't speak today. Um, it actually fixes the mouse and the software is actually usable. Which is really weird because like every other software I've tried, it's never been that hard to install the software. Like I, I think it took me over two days to actually get the software installed. So again, um, just be cautious of that. Like be very wary. I'm gonna get a pearl. I'm probably gonna end the mouse review like I wanna end the mouse review like after this game, maybe one more game, because I don't want this to be like a 10 minute like long se Okay, no. Oh, oh my god. That's actually the grip. Probably the scariest game I played. Okay, I actually got that win. That was really stressful. I'm sorry I didn't commentate. But yeah, um, on to the last game, or maybe let's go to the intro. I'll probably go to the intro. Outro. I kind of forgot the most important part of any sort of Minecraft mouse review if the mouse can actually click. And by click, I mean if it can jitter, butterfly, or drag click. And yes, the mouse can jitter. It can kind of butterfly, and it cannot drag click. By kind of butterfly, I mean like the mouse can get 10 CPS, but there's like a double click prevent. So you can't actually get like 20 CPS with the um, butterfly click, which is kind of sad. But what are you going to do about it? So let me just show you butterfly first. My amazing mouse cam. You can see I'm getting 7 FP. Okay, I'm just bad at butterfly clicking. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. 9, 10. Okay, I'm getting like... 9 to 10 CPS, sometimes I'm going 8 because I'm bad. But yeah, you can butterfly like 8 to 10. If I like sweat, like if I... Um, let's, there we go. I can get like 10 to 11. But yeah, normally I just do normal click. So I don't actually butterfly. And then if you could jitter click, so this is my jitter click form. Like I kind of go like... And there we go. Hero Brian, why are you here? I didn't... <laughs> okay. So it can actually jitter. Um... See, there we go. I'm getting like 12 to 13 CPS with the jitter clicking, so which is really good. And then for drag clicking, I can't really. I can kind of drag. Okay, I cannot drag. I'm sorry. But yeah, basically, the mouse can do most like clicking methods, so it's a pretty good mouse for the price. Overall, I think you guys should like try it out, purchase it, see how it is for you. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.